It's a huge announcement today from the Oregon Department of Justice and the Multnomah County District Attorney. Both will now team up together to investigate the Portland police shooting death of a homeless man who may have been experiencing a mental health crisis. Fox 12's Kendra Kent is live tonight where the memorial honoring the man's life keeps growing. Kendra? That's right, Pete, and by all accounts, this really is a historic partnership. A spokesman for the district attorney's office says that within the last 20 years, they don't recall any sort of joint investigations like this. Now, specifically, a DOJ assistant attorney general will join two Multnomah County deputy district attorneys to oversee the criminal investigation and to whether the officer was justified in that deadly shooting of Robert Delgado. We need positivity in our world. We need change. And I, I think this is a little bit of our voice being heard. A grieving family now boosted by a bit of hope after it was announced Thursday that the Oregon Department of Justice would join the investigation into the Portland police shooting death of Robert Delgado in partnership with the Multnomah County District Attorney. It's not what we wanted but it's a move in the right direction. Delgado's sister, Tina Delgado, reacting to the news just hours after the announcement and days after the family, along with several civil rights groups, sent this letter to Governor Kate Brown and leaders of the State Department of Justice, calling for a completely independent investigation into Delgado's death. Meanwhile, Portland police are still investigating the circumstances that led Officer Zachary DeLong to fire his gun after police responded here to Lentz Park on a call reporting a man quick drawing a gun in the grass. Police say DeLong fired his weapon while 90 feet away from Delgado, Officers later determined Delgado's handgun was fake. Family members and homeless advocates say Delgado was experiencing a mental health crisis at the time of the shooting and say police need to do better by the homeless and mentally ill. Tina Delgado says that starts with independent investigations removed from the close partnerships that exist between local law enforcement and the prosecutors they work with. Earlier this week, the police chief said he'd be open to an outside investigation. Me, personally, as a leader of an organization, I, I would never stand in the way of a, an independent look at an incident or, or the organization. I feel like this could potentially change the next case because we know there is going to be another killing. Um, there is going to be another family that is dealing with unbearable pain. The family now channeling their pain into what they say is a bigger picture. It could be a, become a movement. Giving them some peace that their brother's life and death might help save other lives. Maybe this was his destiny all along. Maybe this is what God wanted, you know, to, to create a change for the better good. And the Portland Police Association did put out a statement today reacting to this partnership between the DOJ and local prosecutors, saying in part, a thorough and objective review of the facts will ultimately lead to the conclusion that Officer DeLong's use of deadly force was justified and that all officers involved in the incident acted in accordance with the law, police bureau policies, and their training. Now, that officer is on paid administrative leave during this investigation, which is standard protocol in these cases. Reporting live tonight in Southeast Portland, Kendra Kent, Fox 12, Oregon.